can you think about that that God is entrusting you with something beautiful that he trusts you with these things that you can do it if God is trusting you, just do it you can do it I know that when you do it you're not doing it alone Some people may think that you're always a joy, your picture, your profile picture, your sometimes your lag pictures, the pictures travel pictures. You posted that on social media and people may think that you're always happy alone. It's good to be crying sometimes. You can express your heart, you can express your feelings. But if you are crying almost every day, every day, some betrayal, some heartbreaks in life. I'm telling you now to go pack up your things and then smile and then walk and then enjoy mourn for what is lost, what was lost, and what was broken. Oh. If you want to listen to this song, the title is Al check the king will come yet don't leave me here alone God God don't leave me here alone the song says I know I need to grow still and I'm trying so don't leave me here alone you're not alone. Actually, God will never leave you nor forsake you. He said that in the Bible. I know I've come so far, but got so far to go. You're far already and don't quit. Yes. You know what, guys? God will never really leave you. He will never forsake you when you are not alone. You may be feeling alone. Sometimes you want to just go with friends and enjoy life with friends. and But then when you're alone, you're crying alone. But you're not really. This song is The King Will Come Yet. But the King Will Come. I know it makes no sense. But don't, don't leave me here alone. You love me time and time. But I still need reminding I will show you. Ah, mirror. <laughs> I've come so far, but got so far to go. If you haven't opened, try opening your Bible. It's not corny. Many people nowadays are reading their Bible, you know, because anxiety is increasing depression i understand this people because i've been there and maybe you think i'm a happy joyful person but i've been to depression you know it's not easy it's not easy sometimes you're just denying things you're in denial of these things that you're sad and lonely alone and you feel things are heavy in your life but when you have God, we actually have God, but when you just allow Him to really work in your life, something heavy in you will be lifted up and away. It makes things so easy. If you have your Bible, you just open your Bible and read. It's never really funny to read your Bible. It's your strength. It will awaken something beautiful in you. So the song goes, God, don't give up on me yet. I know I'm not the same. I understand people who are longing for love, who are longing for joy in their hearts. God is telling you it's okay and He's with you. So if you're viewing this live now and you can relate, I actually want you think it's okay to say here my name in my Facebook maybe it's the only name here on earth <laughs> hope you catch that and 
search that on Facebook. I actually am selling flowers, but I'm not selling to you today. I am actually encouraging people because I've been to depression. I've been to anxiety. I've been to things that gives me, gave me a heavy heart. And it's not easy, actually. I cannot explain to everyone, so I just smile with these people. I just smile to the people I love. I smile to a lot of people. But then, when you become so honest to God, just be so honest to God. And be honest to yourself as well. Just be honest to God. Be honest to yourself. Even when you're alone in your room, just... Even just a whisper, a prayer, a whisper to God. Just, Lord, help me. I can't do this my own. I can't do this my way. And there may be, may be things or a voice, a small voice telling you, just end your life. It's just, you're not, you're not valuable. Just, you're a mess. Your life is a mess. Just don't listen to that. That's not from God. God speaks love. God speaks comfort. And He loves you as He loves you so much. And He loves you so dearly. He is God. And I want you to know His name. His name is Jesus. So, believe now that you're not alone. Believe that Jesus is And I will leave you the verse. that God says in Romans 8 to 8 he said and we know that for those who love God all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose you know, maybe you can say that am I really loving God you can reflect that in your own and you can ask sorry and forgiveness and repent if you think you're not loving God you can ask him how to love you lord am i a mess i repent and i wanna say sorry for all the things that i've done and i wanna be renewed and i wanna see how beautiful this life is because i've been to this life and i've been longing for love and you said you are love god and i just want to feel that love and if I cannot feel that because I sin, forgive me. Just think of these things. Just be honest before life. And he said in Isaiah 41, 13, he said, For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, fear not. I am the one who helps you. Just read it. Read it. Isaiah 41 13 in your bible so i hope you guys are encouraged don't just cry read your bible pray to god ask for forgiveness receive jesus and be excited of the new life that he will give you